welcome to my channel. I am so excited that you're here with us today. I have a really great video. I'm sharing three of my absolute favorite meals that our family loves. They are so quick, so simple, so easy to put together. One of them takes 15 minutes from start to finish. That is including the baking time. I am obsessed with it. It is something we just kind of created uh, out of necessity because we are in quarantine and I was just trying to make do with what I had. So I think you guys are going to love it. Make sure you stick around for that recipe. I am also really excited about today's video because it is a collab with my friend Jennifer over at Cook Clean and Repeat. Jennifer is the sweetest Southern girl I have ever met. I could listen to her voice forever. <laughs> she is a mama and she shares all things cooking and cleaning over on her channel. I will link her information down below so you guys can check her out as well as her what's for dinner video that is going live today. I really think you guys are going to love her and kind of crazy story. It turns out she lives like 30 minutes away from me. So I think after this quarantine, we are going to have to get together and have a cup of coffee. But I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and I'm looking forward to chatting with you in the comments below. If you are coming over from Jennifer's channel, welcome. I'm Sky. I'm the owner of our online home decor shop. And I also just run this YouTube account. It is kind of something that just happened a few months ago and I'm loving it so much. I am so thankful for all the amazing subscribers on here that are just showing me so much support and so much love. I'm so glad that I decided to take the leap of faith and just do this channel. So I share all things home over here from recipes to DIYs to fixer upper renovations to organizational tips, cleaning tips, all the things over on this channel. If it has to do with your home, then I'm sharing it. I really hope that you will stick around and hit that subscribe button. Let's get cooking. So tonight for dinner, we are having a loaded taco dip. And let me tell you, loaded it is. We are going to have meat, we are gonna have sauces, it is layered, it is literally the most delicious thing ever. My husband lives for food like this. So stick around. I'm gonna go gather all of my ingredients and show you guys how to make this dinner. The first thing I'm gonna do is just cook my meat. So I'm gonna use one pound of ground turkey. You could use um, chicken if you wanted to throw it in the crock pot in the morning and shred it in the evening and then put everything together you can. In fact, that is actually what the original recipe that I'm kind of basing mine off of calls for. We just prefer the ground turkey. You could use ground beef, whatever you want. So I'm gonna cook my meat and then I'll check back in with you guys as we assemble the rest. So our taco meat is finished. It is just simmering on the stove and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make the Chipotle ranch dip. So you're gonna need Duke's mayo or really any mayo, but Duke's is the best. <laughs> That's my own personal opinion, of course. And onion powder, dried chives, paprika. You need chipotle seasoning, but I don't have it. I have a chipotle and garlic mix, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then garlic powder. So I'm gonna mix everything into the bowl. This dressing is incredible. My husband cannot stand mayo, but he loves this. So all of the seasonings combined with the mayo really make it taste like a kind of like a spicy ranch. You're gonna start by measuring out one cup of mayo. Then we're gonna add one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of dry chives, a half a teaspoon of chipotle powder, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. 
And if you have a lemon or a lime, a little bit of fresh juice in there, just a squeeze will add some flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is looking so yummy and it smells amazing already. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything just stirred up. The meat is all finished. I have got it here in my baking dish. This dish is from our shop, House and Home, and I love it. I think it is the perfect dish for this meal. It is oven safe. It is truly just such a good staple to have in your home. I will make sure to link it down below for you guys in the description. So now that the meat is done, we've got our Chipotle Ranch made over here. I'm gonna go grab my guac and my jalapeno and we're gonna assemble this dip. While I was grabbing my guac and jalapenos from the refrigerator, I saw this salsa and thought that sounded so good, so I'm actually going to put that in our dip as well. So I took the easy road and got some pre-made guac. You can totally do homemade guac if you have a recipe that you love. We really do enjoy making homemade guac, but um, avocados are so expensive right now, and I really just wanted to take the shortcut for tonight's dinner to make it just that much easier. So first up, I'm going to open up these containers and get the guac on top of the meat. Y'all, I cannot get this salsa open. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> oh, I got it, yes! Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take my fire roasted tomato salsa and just top some of that on here. I don't want to do the entire jar. I just want like a thin layer of salsa. I'm gonna go ahead and just spread that around so that it is evenly coated. And now I'm gonna go in with my Chipotle ranch and just top the salsa. It is almost assembled. I'm just going to add some jalapenos to the top. I absolutely love the spice and flavor that these jalapeno peppers give to this dish. Our kids are not big spice fans, so they are actually just going to have little quesadillas tonight. Um, every once in a while, I will make a separate dinner for them just because, you know, they don't enjoy everything. They're kids, and I totally get that. Um, most meals we cook and eat as a family, but they're gonna have some taco meat. I reserved just a little bit of taco meat um, when I was making it. They'll have some taco meat and cheese inside their quesadillas. We are having some plantain chips with our loaded taco dip tonight. It is our favorite way to eat this dip. It is so delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. Chad will be home from work pretty soon. We are gonna go hang out in the backyard and just enjoy this beautiful 70 degree Charlotte weather. Mm. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is by far the best taco dip I've ever had. So good. Those jalapenos on the top just literally tie it all together. It is amazing. I think you're going to love it. If you try it, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. This would be so delicious with some shredded cheese or lettuce. Um, you could also put some Brussels sprouts on there. You could cut up some fresh chives. You could do so much with this, but just as it is, it is incredible. Hey friends, welcome back for another yummy dinner. It is just kind of a gloomy day here in Charlotte today. And um, I just wanted to go with some like comfort food, something that was gonna be super quick and easy to put together. Um, the kids are down for quiet time right now, so I'm actually preparing our dinner 
now so that I can just throw it in the oven tonight with absolutely no prep. So we are having a one pan dinner tonight. If you are not familiar with one pan meals, hop over to Pinterest and just search one pan dinner. So much goodness will come up. You will be amazed by how many different options there are and different food combinations. We are just huge fans because they are quick, easy meals that you can prep ahead of time or you can make them and usually put them together within like 10 or 15 minutes, throw them in the oven and then they are done and ready to eat. For our dinner tonight, we are going to have some chicken sausage and veggies that I'm gonna go ahead and just start preparing now so I can just throw it in the oven later. Um, I picked up two different chicken sausage flavors over at Trader Joe's. Got the spicy jalapeno and the roasted garlic. And then I am going to chop up some fresh broccoli and zucchini and some squash. I totally underestimated the size bowl that I was going to need for tonight's dinner. So I'm just swapping those out right now. Um, this is actually from our home decor shop, House and Home, and I love it so much. It has this like gorgeous flower detail and it is ceramic. It's like really sturdy and heavy duty. So I've got everything in my big mixing bowl here. As you can see, it is pretty full. Um, for a family of five, having two packages of chicken sausage and how many zucchini? I've got two zucchini. No, three zucchini, two squash, and two little heads of broccoli. That will be enough to feed our entire family. It'll be enough for us all to have um, some seconds. So now I'm just gonna stir everything together. Um, you can get as wild and as crazy as you want to with the seasonings. Our kiddos are pretty sensitive to spice. Um, like spicy foods and I do have the jalapeno already in here and the chicken sausage so I don't want to go overboard for our family tonight but if you um, don't mind the spice add in whatever you want I think you could throw in some paprika or some chili powder and I think that would be so tasty. We're gonna put this in the oven at 425 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, make sure every like eight to 10 minutes, you just give it a little stir. If you feel like it's getting dry, add another little drizzle of olive oil. And um, I am gonna go ahead and cover this and put it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna let it sit for a little while um, until it is time for us to throw it in the oven tonight. Hey guys, welcome back for another delicious recipe. Today we are making the easiest dinner in the history of dinners, second to a bowl of cereal. It is so quick, so easy. Truly, it'll take you like 15 minutes from start to finish and then you just plate it and get to enjoy it. It may not be the healthiest of meals, but every once in a while we like to throw this in our rotation just because it is so simple. So tonight we're gonna have shredded barbecue pork pizzas. We are using a non bread and some pulled barbecue pork that is already made, it's pre-cooked. We're literally just going to assemble it and put it in the oven. I'm also going to bake some broccoli with mine just so that we have um, a filling and semi-nutritious dinner. Also, side note, if you happen to hear a lullaby playing in the background, my boys are upstairs uh, with our dog trying to give him a nap. They've got him covered in blankets and his head rested on a pillow and they have a lullaby playing. So, 
just wanted to add that. For this meal, I just grabbed some pulled pork that was ready to go from Trader Joe's. I got two packets for our family of five, and then I grabbed some non bread. I love the non bread at Trader Joe's because it does not have eggs in it. My daughter has an egg allergy, so she can have these and enjoy it as well. A lot of non bread um, out there has eggs for whatever reason. So we like this one, but you can find non bread anywhere. Um, this is the traditional style, there's no added like seasoning or flavor to it. I prefer to buy it this way and then season it with some garlic, salt, and parsley um, instead of buying the actual like garlic non bread because it is so overpowering and we are a family that loves garlic but it is, it's a lot. So um, this is the way that I like to do it. I'm going to add a little drizzle of olive oil to the non bread, probably about a teaspoon per piece of bread. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that on to get it just incorporated all the way throughout. Once I have spread my olive oil around, I'm going to come in with this garlic parsley salt mixture and just kind of sprinkle that on top. I've got my pork here. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of coat the um, non bread with meat pretty evenly and I'm making these two for Chad and the kids and then I'm gonna come in and make a third one um, for myself without cheese And lastly, I'm just going to top these with some mozzarella cheese if you want a little bit of a kick, I think some pepper jack cheese would be so delicious on here. The pizzas are done now and are ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and bake them at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. I just love making homemade pizzas at home. I think part of it is because I like that we can customize it with Myla's egg allergy and me not being able to have dairy. It just works out so nicely that we can make it however we want. And this is definitely one of our newest and most favorite variations. Okay friends, that is all for today's video. If you loved it, share it with a friend. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you are new here from Jennifer's channel, welcome again, I'm so happy to have you here. If you love these types of what's for dinner videos, make sure you go a few videos back and check out the ones that we have already shared. We have so much great content coming for you guys. We are just about to start a huge renovation in our master bedroom. We are literally doing everything. We are scraping the popcorn ceilings. We're building an accent wall. We are painting, switching out light fixtures, hardware, refinishing furniture, decorating, the list goes on and on. And we are going to be bringing you guys along on all of that. So make sure you are subscribed. You can go ahead and hit that notification bell as well so that you get alerted every time we have a new video. Thanks so much guys. I hope you're doing well and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.